Hi and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. Today I'm going to be looking at one of my favourite, favourite colours. Um, it's lavender or lavender blue. And I'm going to be comparing three brands, Holbein, Daniel Smith and Shin Han. And it's such a beautiful colour. It's not a single pigment. It's a colour that probably came into existence in order to imitate the beautiful colour of lavender flowers, I'm assuming. I couldn't find much history. In other words, the first time the colour was um, blended and used as such, but I found a little bit of interesting information on Wikipedia. Um, apparently, the term lavender may be used in general to apply to a wide range of pale, light or greyish purples, but only those on the blue side. The colour lilac is pale purple on the pink side, and I thought that was interesting. Um, the first recorded use of the word lavender um, as a colour term, anyway, in English, was apparently in 1705, and by 1930, a book called The Dictionary of Colour identified three major shades of lavender. Lavender, lavender grey, and lavender blue. And in addition, a minor shade of lavender called old lavender. And this probably is something that's probably something that's led to our connotations of lavender as being quite a sort of a nostalgic colour. Starting from right to left, I have Holbein. And that's made up of PV15, which is ultramarine violet, PB29, which is ultramarine blue, and PW6, Titanium White. Looking at the middle colour, Daniel Smith's, exactly the same colours, ultramarine violet, ultramarine blue and titanium white, but possibly in uh, different proportions. We'll have to see when I swatch that out. And finally, on the left, Shin Han, which is a mixture of ultramarine violet like the other two, but the blue they use is different. It's PB28, which is cobalt blue, and the same white, titanium white, PW6. So it'll be interesting to compare the two, Holbein and Daniel Smith, that use the same colours to see if they, what their proportions are in their interpretations of the colour lavender, and then to see what difference using cobalt blue rather than ultramarine blue. In the Shin Han brand, all three are artist quality. So let's, um, let's swatch these out and see how they look. And if you like these colour swatching videos, please check out my playlist where there are more um, investigations of colours and swatching out of different brands to compare them. I've sped up the filming of the colour swatching a bit uh, because it's a little bit like watching paint dry, watching somebody swatching colours out unless you're really interested in it. But I'm starting off with the Holbein first. So this is the one that uses, or one of the ones that uses ultramarine blue along with the white and the violet. So that looks really lovely. Um, as you'd expect from artist quality paint, the paint is really beautiful, even in its darkest value, uh, right down to the lightest value. And this is the Daniel Smiths, which is using exactly the same pigments. But to me, that looks a little darker, sort of almost greyer at this stage. So I would imagine the proportions are slightly different. And it's also worth saying that any colour with white added to the blend means it's going to be fairly opaque or, or can be made pretty opaque, um, which is one of the reasons lavender is used in skies for cloudy effects, and it's often used as a light neutralising colour. And this is the final one by Shin Han, and this also looks a little greyer than the Holbein lavender, a little sort of bluer. It's almost got a sort of an indigo tinge to it. And this is the one that, of course, uses... Um, cobalt blue and not ultramarine blue like the other two. Let's leave them to dry completely and then come back and have a look and see how they look once they've dried. So here they are, they've dried and this is a photograph rather than a video clip because a video clip um, didn't really show them in, in the correct colours so this photograph does. So from left to right the Holbein is my personal favourite. 
it's much sort of lighter and clearer and cleaner in my view, bluer rather than greyer. The Daniel Smith version in the middle is pretty similar, but it is a lot greyer. And funnily enough, closer to the Shin Han, which uses a completely different blue, cobalt blue. Um, that's greyer as well. I think whether you, which one you like will be down to personal preference. It depends what you're looking for from your lavender. I like to use lavender for winter scenes. I also like to use it in skies. I like to use it as a neutralising colour as well, just to sort of dull down other colours a little bit and desaturate them. And so I think I really do like um, the Holbein one. Um, as I say, it's down to personal preference, but I think it's really interesting how similar these are and yet how different. If you look at the washi swatch at the bottom of the Daniel Smith one in the middle, you'll be able to see quite a lot of granulation, I hope. Uh, more granulation than the other two. So if you like a granulating lavender, then Daniel Smith will be the one for you. But if you prefer a lavender that tends towards the violet rather than the blue or the grey, then the Shin Han would be a great choice. So to sum up, the, um, the Holbein is a bluer lavender, the Daniel Smith is greyer and the Shin Han is more violet. Well, I hope you found that interesting. Please let me know in the comments what you think. And if you've got um, a favourite lavender in a different brand, please let us know because we'd love to read about that. So thank you so much for watching. Please um, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out the playlist for colour swatching if you haven't seen some of those. I'll see you again soon. Take care and happy painting. Bye.